Um, does the oh, storm, so do the storms that we've seen recently, does it does it change in your view the prospects of the bill passing? I think so. I think that Congress is really poised here to deliver major investments, and these storms are a terrible tragedy that highlight the need for this type of investment. I mean, we're looking at weeks without power in Louisiana, and the deadly front flooding that you were showing in New York is a, a wake-up call. And it follows on the heels of a summer that saw drought and deadly heat waves, wildfires, massive flooding. I mean, if it feels like we're facing disaster on all fronts, it's because we are. This is what climate change looks like, and it's only going to get worse from here. So the pressure on Congress is to act. You know, when we think about upgrading the grid and inf upgrading our, our infrastructure in general, Trevor, we're, we're thinking about just making it more modern. Um, when we think about forging ahead um, to a greener future, to putting more EVs on the road, et cetera, um, are we able to, to imagine a bill that will support a grid that can not only just support our needs right now and be a little bit more weatherproof, but also support the ambitions of the Biden administration and others who want to put many, many, many more EVs on the road. Yeah, I think the good news is that these things actually work together well. I mean, if you think about in a, in a disaster situation, we need, yes, to harden and bury transmission lines. We also need to make our power systems less dependent on single points of failure by embracing distributed energy resources like solar panels or battery-powered uh, backup generators. And if you have, you know, if your library is able to maintain its electricity because it has solar panels and maybe a battery, well, you could go charge your, your cell phone there. You could go charge your car there if you had an electric car. And so having the redundancies and multiple uh, overlapping systems actually strengthens our capacity to deal with rather unpredictable disasters that come from a lot of different directions. And the investments that Congress is proposing here are interlocking. They have new money for forestry management. That will help with the wildfires. It will also help reduce greenhouse gas emissions. They have new money for transmission lines and the new money for energy storage to do both things I was just talking about. They have new money for clean electricity and for uh, electric vehicles. And all of these solutions are going to work together and building them is actually going to uh, really be great for the economy. Well, Trevor, we're going to leave it there. Thanks so much for your time. We appreciate it.